Hi Leo, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Welcome back to Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. Welcome new viewers and subscribers to Yansa's Universe. I'm going to be doing your current love reading for October 2021. Leo, please check out all your other readings. Um, I've done other love readings for you. I've done all signs readings that are time stamped. I, done, I did a Leo reading and a fire signs reading that's time stamped. Um, check out all your other readings. Check out my channel. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Anyone with Leo in their chart, Leo, Jupiter, Leo, North Node, um, Leo, Mercury, Mars, all of that. So, Leo, if these messages resonate with you in any way, or my energy, um, is entertaining to you, or my vibe is entertaining to you, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. This helps me be here more often, and it really does help my channel, you guys. So, Leo, we're gonna pull, um, we're gonna look into your past, present, and future in regards to your love life, or whatever spirit wants you to know. But I'm gonna focus on love. Flip flop the roles. It could be you and or your person, person of interest, anyone on your mind, anyone that has you on their mind. Um, anyone in your energy field, anyone in their energy field, okay? Could have happened in the past, present, or future. All right. For Leo. Leo. What's going on for Leo? Okay, the King of Pentacles. Oh, Big Daddy, Big Mama. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You could have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart. But I'm saying it took a lot of, um, a lot, just a lot to get you to this status. Maybe the universe has blessed you with this status because of how many people uh, betrayed you and lied to you and hurt you and backstabbed you. Okay, maybe this is the type of work that you always do. You always overwork yourself. Um, to maintain this status so this could be a warning so i'm trying to read these cards in a couple different ways for you leo all right okay i'm seeing what's really worth it because the king of pentacles is like knowing your worth knowing your value yeah what is really worth it leo what's worth your time and your effort and putting all of this strength okay into and all this energy into not the ten of swords okay so that's don't uh, put yourself in that ten of swords state and don't let others put you in that ten of swords state. Okay, but also don't stay there either. Justice card, time to get balanced. So King of Pentacles, Strength and Justice. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, another Leo or a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus with the Six of Cups. It's so funny because in your past, Libra came out here. You'll see it when I pull the flip the cards over i was going to keep it a surprise but i wanted to call it now so y'all you know whatever but we got the ace of wands as well at the bottom of the deck you're ready for something new to start but i'm seeing you're trying to pace yourself you're trying to hold yourself back you don't want to um jump in too fast with this six of cups you're having memories you're thinking of someone someone is thinking of you you want to have fun you want to laugh again i'm hearing you want to laugh again Okay, you want to see the brightest side of your life, the brightest side of the world. Okay, clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo. Okay, your finances are going to start looking so much, so much better, or they finally started looking better now. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Yeah, the King of Cups. Ooh, you could have two suitors, a, a King of Pentacles and a King of Cups, but someone who is stable with money and monetary items but also is very loving okay as well clarify the strength for leo clarify strength for leo so you pulled your own energy you could be dealing with another leo ten of swords again holding back so you're breaking this person's heart or you're breaking your own heart holding back so much okay or you have these overwhelming feelings or overwhelming because the strength card could be holding back some form of temptation or holding back on some form of lust or holding back the urge, holding back an urge. Whatever urge this is, Ten of Swords, it may not be good for you. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Leo. Leo has this way about them. It's like 
oh, if I can't move, because Leo is like, if I get the feeling to move, make a move, make a change, or say something, or speak my mind, or speak my heart, or if I get that feeling and I can't do it, it completely crushes Leo. Yeah, Five of Cups completely crushed you. Okay, so maybe, Leo, someone is holding back from you and you had no choice but to move away. You're holding back from someone and they had no choice but to end it and move away. Uh, stop communicating with you. This person is very sad, heartbroken, feels backstabbed, in despair. Okay, it could be a water sign with the Queen of Cups. I see the King and Queen of Cups. Okay. Someone is deep in their emotions. This could be you, Leo. Clarify justice for Leo. Clarify justice for Leo. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, your finances are going to get right because of this. There may have been something you had something you had to end, a relationship or a job or some situation you had to end. But I'm seeing because, like, I'm seeing your status is going to change, but it took a lot to. And you're like, why? Like, why did it take all this heartache and this pain and sadness and remorse? It's like the universe is putting you through like the ringer. You're going to come out victorious. Your money's going to look great. You're going to be recognized within your job. Things are going to get balanced. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, more balance. Justice and Six of Pentacles. This is all about balance. This is all about karma. Um, if you don't understand it, it may not be for you to understand. Um, the universe just worked it out this way. Clarify the Six of Cups for Leo. It was also you could... Um, Regain your focus, Leo. It seems like you you lost your focus, okay? And it's all for the betterment of your spirit. Yeah, the betterment of your spirituality, the high priestess and the moon. All the betterment for your spiritual gifts, who you're supposed to be, okay? Okay, the six of cups. We got the three of swords. So some heartache, some pain, some, but the six of cups could be mending this heartache and pain, healing from this heartache and pain. Slowly but surely with the knight of pentacles, more offers. Okay. And the three of pentacles. Okay. So I see you collaborating with people. There's someone going to come in. There's a breakthrough in communication. You could be traveling. Yeah. Ace of swords, six of swords, queen of swords. That helps you regain your clarity, get back focused. Because I see your emotions were had you on this emotional roller coaster. I don't really see any sense of fulfillment. But finally, there's a breakthrough. This breakthrough is going to change your status financially. You're going to be a boss financially in control of your emotions. Got the king and queen of cups. So the balance of masculine and feminine as well. I'm seeing healing with the three of swords. Communication, clarity, and travel. A lot of balance. You're just needing to get balanced, Leo. And you have to stay focused on your goals. Okay? So, I see you could be dealing with an, any Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Any Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Any Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Or another Leo or Libra. Or Pisces or Cancer. Okay, let's take a look into your past. Okay, we have, are we in love or is, it, is this just lust? Okay, someone from your past, you were asking yourself, am I in love with this person or is this just lust? This person from the past asked themselves that about you. Are me and Leo in love or is this just lust? But what you need to know is the grass was not greener. Okay, if you went back to someone from your past or if they went back to someone from their past, the grass was not greener. Okay, I told you Libra was out here. Libra, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Someone with Libra in their chart or needing to get balanced. You could have met this person in Libra season. They could have Libra in their chart. You could have Libra in your chart. But it's in the past, your heart, mind, body, soul, and emotions were out of alignment. Okay, when you were with this person. Okay, so that's your past. So for your present, you, you got two cards. And it's so funny because you got 14 and 15. 
So do you see the synchronicities, 14 and 15? So the first card says thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. The second card says garden, something lovely will grow from this. Okay, something lovely will grow from whatever you're weaving together. Okay, so let's look at 14 first. 14 breaks down to a 5, 15 breaks down to a 6. So any hard times are going to end from the 5, chaos, conflict, and change. It's going to end and move, move on to balance and move on to peace, clarity. Okay, so let's look at 14 first. Thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. Don't wait for anyone else to do it. Whatever it is, so it's like a um, if life give you if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Weave together the crown you deserve. This right here is the ultimate card of celebration, not just of yourself. You're amazing, Leo, but of those around you. So celebrate yourself, Leo, and celebrate those around you, especially the ones um, who are the most important and the, um, who serve your highest good. When you're done putting on your crown, each and every morning, go and help someone else put on theirs. You have so much love and wisdom to spread, so don't waste it, Leo. Self-love is essential, but community is important too. So, of course you are important, but so are the people around you. Make sure you give um, people their flowers while, you know, just give them their flowers. Make sure people know that they are important to you as well. Okay, something lovely will grow from this. All right, something lovely will grow from this garden. Either we sit around and dwell on our pain or we learn how to grow something lovely out of it. Ready or not, it's time for the next chapter of your life, Leo. Do the thing or things you feel you most need to do in order to aid your healing, even if it feels selfish. Sometimes it needs to be a little selfish in order for it to work in the long run. Worry about focusing on you for now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, 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 Leo. So, why, you know, don't forget to fix your own crown. Focus on you and others. And then... After that, after you letting people know, you know, I love you, you're important to me, remember yourself, Leo, remember your goals, all right? You don't always have to, you know, y'all know what the fuck I'm saying, shit. Balance spirituality and practicality. There we go, there's that balance, okay? Yourself and others. Yourself and spirit, okay? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. This is the full moon in Pisces. Check the date. Okay, full moon in Pisces should be somewhere in September, I think, because, yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, nature, interact with nature in the outdoors. Leo, interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. So this is all about healing, Leo. You got to heal. Weave together the crown you deserve and something lovely will grow from this. So balance spirituality and practicality and get out into nature and interact with nature. Go outdoors. Go around some animals or farmlands or go sit by the ocean or a lake or a stream or a body of water because this will be good for the soul and healing for you. Okay, Leo. All right, that was your past, present, and future. I'm going to pull one more spread for you, then we're jumping to the 18 plus por portion. Okay. Leo. Leo, Leo. Leo the lion. Leo the lion. Leo the lioness. Leo. Ace of Pentacles could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. There's that loan. There's that money. There's there's that um, whatever it is that you've been praying for or needing. 
all right you're receiving it or you're going to be able to give it to someone some of you may be wanting to give to someone okay queen of cups okay with this gift or money or whatever it is going to bring a lot of love a lot of change with the death card especially in regards to your status and in work you're going to be making a lot more money so this is a new um bracket and in income leo leo Ooh, leo leo All right, the hermit could be dealing with the Virgo. Okay, this person could be overthinking. We got the King of Cups at the bottom with the Nine of Swords, then the Three of Swords. I'm sorry, the Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Strength. So I see you are clearly holding back from this person. You have ghosted this person with the Hermit card. Yeah, so this person is pissed. Um... I see this person is going to try to get back at you. I don't know what in what type of way. They think that they're getting back at you if they just forget you and focus on their work. So let me see. I see the Ace of Pentacles. Someone wants to give you an offer of not only stability, but they have emotion for you as well with the Queen of Cups. Okay? You are already emotionally checked out or you decided to focus on your goals. Like we were saying, stay focused with the Hermit card. But you, you, I don't know if you are in a connection emotionally with someone, okay? You could be. I'm just trying to read the cards for you. Now, you could be dealing with the Virgo, or you could have Virgo in your chart. This person could have Virgo in their chart. I see there's an ending in regard to how you used to make money or an ending to having to work so hard or something like that. There's a change someone wants to work on this with you with the eight of pentacles work on this with you and then the three of pentacles work on this with you someone wants to work on this with you <laughs> okay we have a pair here the king and queen of cups but someone is stressed because i don't know if there's multiple people involved or they're stressed because they don't know if you've already made a connection with someone else leo maybe you have broke up with this past person and you made a connection with someone else and they know that or they sense that or they're worried or stressed that you have made a connection with someone else. Okay. Regardless, I've seen you could have one or two people trying to work on a connection with you. One person you may have ended it with. All right. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo strongly, uh, or, a, or a Scorpio. Any water sign or Virgo or Scorpio. Yeah. But new money and love. Definitely. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. More money, more talking to people, collaborating with people, conversing with people, networking with people, building connections with people. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's jump into it. Leo. Hello, my nasty Leos. I hear super free, super free. That could be you or your person. Okay, we're doing an all signs from Aries to Pisces. All right. For Leo. For Leo. Okay, come on now. For Leo. For Leo. Okay, Leo, if you're dealing with an Aries, they say you speak to me through music, but I know I messed up everything, okay? 
This Aries says, look at me while I eat it and look at me while you suck it. So look at me while I'm eating you or look at me while I'm sucking you. Look at me while you suck at me. Or whatever goes first. You hear what I'm saying? You speak to this person through music, Leo. Or Leo, this person speaks to you through music and you know you messed up everything. But this is y'all get down when y'all have sex. You like looking at them or they like looking at you. Okay. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus says it's time for me to heal now. And you are the best thing in my life. So if you and a Taurus broke up, know that you are the best thing in their life. But they want to heal now. It's time. It's time. They love having sex with you in the car. <clears throat> or this is what they've always wanted to do. Leo says, Taurus, it's time for me to heal now. You are the best thing in my life, and I still remember our car sex. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini says, I'm not available, but I want to be more than friends. I want to be more than friends, so this sounds like friends with benefits, but they're not available. Or you, can, you, you Leo, are not available, and Gemini wants to be more than friends, but you are not letting them out the friend zone. Or vice versa, however it is. Someone wants to know, can they sleep in it? So, Gemini says, I'm not available. I want to be more than friends and I want to sleep in it. But don't expect anything else out of me. Leo says, I'm not available, Gemini. You just want sex. And I know you want to be more than friends, but you crazy as hell. And I don't know if I want to do that. Or vice versa. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Cancer says, I want to tell you how I feel. Cancer says, I regret lying to you. Cancer is a lazy lover. Cancer probably promised to do all of these things. And Cancer just fell short. They ended up being a lazy lover. And they probably didn't satisfy you sexually. But they want to tell you how they feel. They regret lying to you. So they probably said that they had a big wee-wee and they didn't. Sorry. They probably said that they had the WAP and they didn't, y'all. They lied. Or vice versa. If you're dealing with another Leo, Leo says, I feel you leaving me behind. And I'm so attracted to you. I'm still attracted to you, Leo. And I come fast when you choke me. Okay? I feel you leaving me behind. I've always been attracted to you. I'm still so attracted to you. And I come fast every time you choke me. Or Leo saying this to Crosswatcher or Crosswatcher saying this to Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo says, I left when I saw you with someone. And I replay our conversations over and over. So Virgo says that they seen you with someone, Leo. And that's why they left. But they replay your conversations over and over again. And um, Virgo says, I do magic on you so you won't leave me, Leo. Okay. Or vice versa. Leo says, I left you, Virgo, when I saw you with someone. I replay our conversations over and over. I didn't know that you was doing magic on me. Maybe that's why I keep replaying these fuck-ass conversations and you're crazy than a bitch, Virgo. Okay, whatever. But <laughs> Leo does magic on Virgo. So Virgo don't leave Leo or vice versa. If you're dealing with a Libra, so many things remind me of you, Leo. And I know I crossed the line with you. But I would like a blowjob. You give the best head I ever had in life. Okay, or Libra gives the best head that Leo ever had in life, but Leo knows that they crossed the line with Libra. But so many things reminds Leo of Libra. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio says, I don't react when people mention you, but it was my fault and I blame you. So I can't react. Scorpio has pretty titties or a nice body. Where Scorpio says, Leo, you got some pretty titties and you have a nice body. I know it's my fault, but I blame you, Leo. And But I don't react when people mention you, Leo. That's what Scorpio said. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius says, we both know I'm not the one for you. But I'm starting to understand our connection. It was a lesson that I needed to learn. Okay? But Sagittarius says, tell me it's mine. Or Leo says, tell me it's mine. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I'm starting to understand our connection, but we both know I'm not the one for you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn says, I wish I could share my good news with you, but we need to let each other go. 
and Capricorn is uncircumcised. The Leo is uncircumcised. Leo says we need to let each other go. Leo wishes they could share their good news with Capricorn or vice versa. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Aquarius said, I look for you everywhere. And I will wait for a sign from you, Leo. Aquarius says, bite my neck, suck my ear, and give me some hickeys. Or that's what Leo wants from Aquarius because Leo's looking for Aquarius everywhere. Leo's waiting for a sign from Aquarius or vice versa. If you're dealing with the Pisces, Pisces says, I hid who I really am from you, Leo. And I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, Pisces says, I still remember our first time. Or Leo remembers the first time with you, Pisces. Leo feels you even though you're apart, Pisces. Leo hid who they really were from you, Pisces. Or vice versa. Okay, this is all that I have for you, Leo. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, donate to the channel. Follow me on all my social media. Check out my second channel. Book a personal reading with me. Purchase any of my bath sets. You guys be safe. Check out all your other readings, okay? Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.